so far, what are, let's say, like the most challenging things that you see to, to really deeply understand in the game? But itemization was a big challenge for a long time, and I, I feel like it still is. I think you need to know every hero from different aspects. So like a single hero, you have multiple talent, uh, you have multiple skill paths, you have multiple uh, item paths, and then you've got the path of, are you ahead of your opponent, even or behind? And you may not itemize or play the same way. And then there's your teammates and their intent. Are they an aggressive team? Are they a passive team? Then there's understanding the draft and your role in it and who you should be taking out on the enemy team and who you should be afraid of. And you need to have this mental pick. I think just understanding the overall game plan, our power spike, that's really tough. And I also find that I tend to see the game as a, as a timeless, I see every game as a timeless one hour plus game because people can be <laughs> really bad at ending unless it happens uh, coincidentally. Like all the stars just align, not by design, but people just end up snowballing and then you end up winning in 27 minutes or the enemy has a brood mother and you lose in 20. So <laughs> there are like different, generally I find that whoever has the strongest late game team has a better chance in my games because people are bad at ending. But there are so many different complicated, like I could play a hero for 50 times and I'm not even close to playing one hero for 50 times yet. And I'll, I could still have 5,000 new experiences with that hero based on my allies draft and the enemies draft yeah. that require for different adaptations. So I would say there's a massive knowledge gap despite me learning and picking up things where every situation is different. Like I have never been in that situation before is something I say 50 times a day, right? So uh, I, I would say the, the knowledge part is the hardest. I'm getting a little better at team fights before team fights felt like this to me. Huh. <laughs> and uh, it, <laughs> it, it, it gets a little better. It feels fairly zoomed in Dota 2. Um, in Warcraft 3, we played very zoomed in for all of my professional career. A zoom out was actually a hack that was illicit at tournaments. In 2017, before Reforge was starting to get announced, uh, there were people using zoom out hack in, in, in broad daylight, which was frowned upon in the West. And it was literally just a cheat. The Western client didn't support that. But in China, the client, everyone was using it because the official partner for Blizzard, NetEase, was supporting it via the Warcraft battle platform. You could just zoom out. So, what? so then you've got Western players that play on Chinese clients for practice and to compete in Asian tournaments. They are allowed to follow the same standard without reproach, wouldn't you say? Since, you know, all the Asian players are using it as well. So they can zoom out. But then when they practice on the West, they, of course, want to keep the same practice regime to, to use the zoom out that they are now used to and not play so claustrophobic close anymore. 